Well, this is the last full weekend of summer for many students who head back to class next week. That includes students at Hampshire Finette ISD. Now, when they go back to school next Thursday, they'll see some changes, including a new cell phone policy. Good evening to you. District officials say for the past three years, teachers have been kind of lenient. Yeah, but starting Thursday, the district is returning to its pre pandemic cell phone policy. Our 12 News reporter Kayla Shote has details on what this means for students. Brenda Jordan wants Hampshire Finette High School students get off the school bus or out their cars. It's time to turn their phone off and put it away before they walk inside the school. What we're here to do is focus on student learning, you know, and so we feel like putting turning off the distractions is the best possible way to do that. During the pandemic, high school students were allowed to use their phones in the hallways and in between classes. But Marla Gilmore, the principal of Hampshire Finette High School, says it was a distraction. Students were on social media quite a bit. Uh, we were watching movies or, you know, trying to, um, you know, texting each other during the day. Gilmore says the school reached out to students, parents, and an advisory committee to weigh in on cell phones. Gilmore says they all agreed that phones were a problem. During instructional time, our cell phones will be turned off and then again, they'll be allowed during their designated lunch time in the cafeteria as well as our courtyard. If a student gets caught violating this policy, which includes cell phones, tablets, and smart watches, the device will be taken away. If a phone is confiscated during the day, then it's brought and we hold it in the office and then the student or the parent can come and pick that up. And the student must pay $15 cash or online to get it back. Then parents can go online or possibly the student if the parent requires them. And so they can go online and use our RevTrack system to pay their fee. The district posted the new rule on Facebook and the responses so far have been positive. I already told mine that I won't be paying that fine. She can go without until she has the money. Way to go, HFHS. All of the money collected will go into the general student activities account. In studio, Kayla Shote, 12 News.